Ex-wife of a Mississippi mayor, Suzanne Savage Davis, is uh, suing the man that she claims seduced her husband. Now, this is Mississippi Mayor uh, Greg D Davis, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently, like, they've separated, and he had gone on various trips with this young 26-year-old man, and his wife found out about it through uh, some online messaging. I don't know if it was through email or some sort of chat, but apparently the 26-year-old said, I can't wait for our trip to Vegas, we're gonna have such a good time, this and that. So now she's suing the 26-year-old for $1 million for seducing her husband. That's awesome, it's awesome. Uh, for a number of reasons, number one, uh, it's called alienation of affection. Like, my husband would have stayed with me except you seduced him, hence you were the one who harmed me and I, I need the money from you. Really? Your husband would have stayed with you anyway, even though he was attracted to 26-year-old males? Mm, maybe. Maybe not. Right? Mm -hmm. Second of all, it ain't the kid's fault. Uh, it's your husband's fault. Okay? He, anybody could have wanted to alienate his affections. That's not their responsibility. It's your husband's responsibility to not go sleep with 26-year-old guys or girls. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's an absurd lawsuit. And where the hell is that 26-year-old kid? gonna get a million dollars. What she's really doing is she's messing with her husband. Of course. She wants to put all this embarrassing stuff out in public and she's using this as a vehicle to do that. Right, well apparently uh, he had to repay the city $170,000 in funds that he had you know, misspent. He was spending that money on his relationship, going on trips. What's amazing to me uh, w when reading about this litigation is that <laughs> that these guys are so sloppy with their affairs. I, I'm thinking he probably wanted to get caught, right? Mm -hmm. But why, why would you be so blunt about it? Why would, why no, would you no. cover your tracks? Because a lot of guys get caught when they don't want to get caught, and I feel like they're needlessly sloppy. Yeah, no, Tighten I hear you, but, but that's why you wouldn't be a criminal, because you'd be worried to death, oh my God, they're gonna catch this, they're gonna catch that. Mm -hmm. Whereas people who abuse funds, et cetera, they're not worried about that. They're like, let's go to Vegas, baby. <laughs> I got this 26 year old hot guy who's willing to go to Vegas with me. <laughs> Come on, we'll put it on the expense account. So they're not acting quite as rationally as you might want. Man, $170,000 on like fun trips and dinners. And no, but that's what I say. Look, these uh, criminals, man, they don't get it. Their, their problem is that they're always greedy, right? Mm -hmm. If you just stole a little bit, you probably get away with it, right? You'd almost certainly get away with 17,000 probably get away with 70,000. But you had to go get a gay lover and go up to $170,000. Well, uh, you're gonna get caught by your wife, you're gonna get caught by the state, of course you're gonna get caught. But think about this, the fact that he wouldn't have gotten caught by the state if his wife hadn't seen that exchange between him and the 26-year-old. Yeah, that's true too. Maybe, who so, knows, maybe he could have gotten up to 700,000 mm -hmm. and they wouldn't have caught him.